Hello there, amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new, exciting Doctor Who video for today. So, we had the very first look at this year's Doctor Who Christmas special. We've only released our four pictures one of Shooty Gatwell, one of Millie Gibson, one of the alien creatures, and of course, we have some woman who I don't actually know. I know she's an actress and she's actually playing herself. I just don't really know her. And this is actually exciting because we are actually at the return of the Christmas special since 2017. Yes, since 2017, we've had no Christmas specials. We had the 2019 New Year's Day special, the 2021 New Year's Day special, the, you know, 2022 New Year's Day special. We've always had, like, New Year's Day specials. But we've had no Christmas specials since 2017. And this is a fantastic return for the Christmas specials and... I'm absolutely excited for it. So I kind of want to talk about really what I'm so excited about. I love the fact we kind of have a glimpse of Millie Gibson's character, played by AKA Ruby Sunday. Now, Ruby Sunday, she has been abandoned by her parents on Christmas Eve. And now, basically, she's older. She's basically been adopted. So she's with her adoptive mum. I believe, and her adoptive nan. Quite looking forward to seeing what Millie Gibson is going to bring into the role of the Doctor's companion. Shooty Gatwa, he actually is wearing the outfit he basically was revealed early last year. Around about last year or early this year at some point, you know, he's wearing the big long brown leather coat. It really gives me some like Christopher Eccleston vibes with the, with the brown leather coat. It, it gives me kind of a, like a little bit of vibes between the ninth and 10th Doctors because David Tennant did wore a long brown coat by the ninth Doctor just wore a black leather coat. So it's like a nice little mixture between the two. A nice callback to basically the ninth and 10th Doctors where the rest of his outfit looks very good actually. Like the blue jeans. Uh, I think it's blue jeans he wears in the Christmas special. I'm not 100% sure. Which basically gives me a nice little callback to the eighth Doctor from Dark Eyes, the trainers. Basically, give a nice little callback to the 10th, the 14th, and the 5th Doctors. And that's really going to have to say about it, because I just don't know little pecs. Because I'm going by what the images look like, and it looks like a pair of blue jeans, which basically gives me callbacks to the 8th Doctor. Played by Paul McGann. Now, you're probably wondering, but Paul McGann never wore jeans. What am I on about? In the Big Finish audios, known as Dark Eyes, Stranded, Doom Collection, and Ravelous, the 8th Doctor does actually wear like the blue leather jacket, white t-shirt and blue jeans. So really the, the blue jeans is a nice little callback to the 8th Doctor for me. Now I kind of want to talk about the alien creature that looks kind of funny. So the image, it is an alien goblin sort of creature as you can see. Now some people will go, oh look how cute it is. I'm like, this looks absolutely terrifying and I think it looks absolutely brilliant. The way you've got the, the big pointy ears and you've got the teeth, I think... Yeah, you know what? I think this is going to be the Doctor Who Christmas villain. Really gives you that kind of nostalgic of the Russell T. Davis era because we had Robot Santas, we had Killer Christmas Trees, then of course we have like Snowmen in the Moffat era. So it's a very nice kind of a Christmas take on Doctor Who by the horror side, which I'm quite looking forward to. I'm actually quite looking forward to seeing Shooty Gatwa as the 15th Doctor. I'm thinking I might probably actually enjoy his take on the role. Um, from what I've basically been reading, he's like no other Doctor. So I'm quite looking forward to basically seeing what Shooty Gatwa is going to bring to the role. Millie Gibson, I did watch her in Coronation Street last year. That I haven't now and again. I watched Coronation Street. And I thought her character that she played then basically was Kel Kelly Neeland. I actually did quite like her as an actress. I think she was absolutely brilliant. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing her in the role of Ruby Sunday. And basically what she's going to bring into the role of the companion. I know she's going to be in series two of the Disney era. Because they already are filming that next year's series. 2025 series. Where series one's season one's already been filmed, so we are they're currently are filming season two, which actually I'm quite looking forward to because if if Shooty Gatwa is only doing two seasons, then I think he probably regenerate at the end of season two. I'm not 100 percent sure. He could be doing like the main four seasons, like Russell T Davis has confirmed. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing how many seasons that Shooty Gatwa does. I'm hoping Millie Gibson character because some companions in the modern era. I get a little bit bored with after a series or two. I mean, 
Rose Tyler, she was absolutely brilliant, but played by Billy Piper in Series 1, but then I don't really like her in Series 2 because of the whole romance side. Freema Yegma only did one season, one series, though, and she was actually quite good. Catherine Tate did one series, but a few Christmas and a Christmas special. So, and of course, she's back in as Donna Noble in the 60th anniversary. Really looking forward to Wild Blue Yonder tomorrow. Actually, looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to getting my review out on that story as well because it looks absolutely amazing. Really, quite looking forward to it. Really, I'm looking forward to it. Wild Blue Yonder, and then of course we have like Amy Pond who did two season, two series and a half. Same with the next companion, Jenna Coleman. She did two series and a half. Rory technically did one series and a half because of, he's in all the way through series six and a little bit and the first part of series seven. When in series five, he wasn't like a main companion until basically the Vampires of Venice and then he died in cold blood and then they brought him back as a Roman. So technically, as a full on companion, he didn't become a full companion until series six for me i don't i know some people class rory as a series five companion i don't i think he's more of a series six companion and then of course we have bilinardo for series 10 which is absolutely brilliant and then we kind of have grain ryan and yaz and yaz stayed for the 13th doctor series so really out of all of the modern companions yaz is really the longest companion to the modern of the modern era for the doctor staying for three series where basically some companions leave after two or just do one Apart from Jenna and basically Karen Gillan, because basically they did like two and a half. So I'm really hoping that Millie Gibson breaks that and stays around, not for like two series, I'm hoping she stays around for season three. I'm really, I'm hoping that she stays for season three because I'm quite, I'd be quite happy if a companion stays as long as season three. So make her and Yaz neck and neck unless she stays for season four. Going a bit off the topic there, sorry. But yeah, the images for the Christmas special, it's making me getting more excited for the Christmas special. Now we are on the 1st of December. So we've basically got 24 days until the church on Ruby Road. I'm quite looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be amazing and brilliant. Talking about the alien creatures like the elf as well. It looks kind of okay. Keep trying to give that Christmas horror feeling. But anyway, let me know in the comments. What do you think of the pictures are you looking forward to the christmas special let me know in the comments please do like subscribe share and join me for more awesome doctor who content